Let's look at how to complete the Let's Visualize Your Data assignment. Let's go to Quests. Let's go to the 5-6 Math Quest. And let's look at Let's Visualize Your Data. So this is the one we did looking at the awesome postcard data visualizations. And uh, this is the part where we do the reflection. Okay, so for the reflection, I, I gave you a link to the photo of your team's uh, data. Oh, and I've got pictures of everybody doing it. So let's find, let's pretend I was on this team. You click on your poster, and you're going to go to the three dots and choose download. And it's going to download your picture. It's called image 7585, and it's in my download folder. Then, I can just do it right here. I'm going to click in this spot, and I'm going to type sites.google.com so I can go to Google Sites. And I want to go to my portfolio. Now, if you haven't started this yet, you want to go to Pages, you want to go to Math, you want to click on the three dots, and you want to add a sub-page in the math section. So I already did it. There it is. I called it Dear Data. You're making a sub page for Dear Data. And here I already started. You're just going to go back to insert, click on images, click on upload, and choose the one that you just downloaded. Um, so I already did this. So I'm going to pretend I did. I clicked on it. I upload. And then I close that. Oops. Go away. Um, then you're going to add a text box. And I put my text box right here because you have to respond to these three prompts. The first one tells you to describe the data you collected and show how you and your team made it visual. You're going to explain in, in sentences, short paragraph, how your team chose to come up with the poster you created. Uh, and, of course, explain your data and what you learned from each other's data. Now, if you didn't collect data, you're going to talk about the data that one of your teammates collected. And if you did collect data, you're going to talk about what it was like collecting it, uh, whether it was hard or easy, whether you got a lot of data or you noticed there wasn't that much. So there's a lot to write about. Then, question number one, what are you thinking about data now? What I would do is, um, after you wrote your description, I would hit return and return. Answer the first question in a separate paragraph. And then return, return. Answer the second question in a separate paragraph. That way it's easier to read. Instead of one long block of text, you've got three smaller chunks of text. And the third question is, what did you learn through this project that surprised you? Again, I'm looking for complete sentences, more than one. So you not only get to reflect on what you learned in math, but you get to use your communication skills and writing skills and improve them as you share what you learned. Once you finish that, here's the important part. You have to publish. Click on Publish. Click on Publish. Every time you make a change to your uh, page or any site on your Google Sites, you have to publish again. Then click on this drop-down arrow. Go to View Published Site. And this is the link I want to Dear Data. Notice I don't want to link to your homepage because then I have to wonder, well, where's Dear Data? And I have to click all the way over here. If I have to do that for 48 students, that's going to take me time I don't have. But if it takes me straight to here, copy that, dear data, then I've got the correct link. And when you go to assignment, just like that, look at that, I already pasted it there. Math slash dear data, boom. And the teacher hasn't left any feedback because I got it right. And I know I got it right because it moved me on from Let's Visualize Your Data to Math Focus. There you go, folks. That's how you successfully complete Let's Visualize Your Data.